how many of you watching us this morning may have a cup of coffee by your side, like I always do. That jolt of caffeine gets a lot of people started. But nowadays, some folks are supplementing the traditional cup of joe with this, a shot of energy. You may feel it in minutes, and it may last for hours, but is it safe? We've all seen the commercial, the guy who just can't get his day started without a shot of five-hour energy. Can't get it together in the morning? Try five-hour energy. Mike Batter is a steady customer. The radio ad man chugs the stuff at least once a day. I wouldn't work out at 5 a.m. if I didn't take one before I work out. After exercising, Batter says he drinks a travel mug of coffee before heading into work. I'm a high-energy guy. I, I talk to people all day long, you know, I'm either on the phone or in person talking to people. I've got to have my energy up, so that's, you know, that's why I tried it. Sometimes in the afternoon, Batter admits drink another shot of five-hour energy. Another two-a-day energy shot drinker, Jimmy Withers. He lays tile for a living and says the caffeine gives him the boost to get him through the afternoon. The caffeine, you know, shake and nervousness and all that, I don't really get it from this. What's in a two-ounce bottle of five-hour energy? Caffeine that equals a cup of coffee, zero sugar, four calories, and a blend of B vitamins, including B3, also called niacin. Dietitian Sally Clifton says the caffeine and five-hour energy is concentrated, and too much niacin could be a danger. For cardiac patients, it can pose a risk for, you know, um, their heart um, palpitations or, or jitterness um, or high blood pressure and that kind of thing. The maker of five-hour energy recommends not to exceed two bottles per day. For Jimmy Withers and Mike Fatter, that may not be a problem, but just like coffee, it could be habit-forming. Beware that you can become addicted. Um, just, you don't want this to become a habitual thing. Now, the caffeine in an energy shot is dumped into your system right away instead of, like, gradually when you drink a cup of coffee. And too much niacin can give people a niacin flush, which can redden the skin. There's a lot of marketing, of course, that goes in these sexy little bottles, and at around $3 each, those costs can add up, can get expensive. Also, children under 12 should not take energy shots, as well as women who are pregnant or nursing.